Now if we open our config.php, which you'll find inside of the inc folder, and after the session start, what we're going to do is add to constant. I'm just going to copy this first one, create a couple of lines, and we're going to rename it to country local. And basically what this is uh, going to represent is the ID of the record from the countries table which represents your local country. Uh, as you may, may remember, our database has a countries table, which basically lists the number of practically all of the countries. Uh, identify your own country or the country uh, where your client's shop is going to be basically uh, based. And then obviously uh, put this ID here. Uh, for United Kingdom, which is where I live, it's 229. Uh, another constant, I'm just going to comment here, uh, local country, obviously lowercase, local country ID. Okay, the next one will be uh, telling us whether we should apply the VAT or tax to the uh, purchases made from outside of my local country. So uh, this one, it will be international national international VAT and if I copy this one or you can call it in any other way obviously and by default is false so only purchases in my case from within the United Kingdom uh, only these purchases will have VAT applied to it if someone from Germany wants to purchase obviously then we're not going to be charging them VAT on top of um, obviously the cost of the of the items so uh, whether VAT should apply to sales outside of the local country. Okay, so these are the two variables, uh, sorry, constants obviously added right at the top. Now if we scroll down uh, to the line after the uh, classes, uh, uh, classes path, Actually, it's not classes path, it's classes, classes dear. If we copy this line here, paste it underneath, and now we're going to actually define the classes uh, path. This one will be classes path. And it's going to be uh, using our classes dear. But before this, we're going to use our root path and then directory separator concatenated with the name obviously of this classes folder. And after this one, uh, let's copy this pages dear constant. And we're going to rename this one. That's going to be plugin path. And that's plugin path. If we copy this, and the path to the plugin folders is going to be plugin. And if we use this root path dot ds dot as well to concatenate it, that's going to take us to the plugin folder. Now we haven't got a plugin folder yet in our directory structure, so let's create a new folder inside of the root of our project and call it a plugin. We're going to be adding plugins later on for the time being, it's just a directory. Okay, now if we scroll uh, right to the bottom, right our after set include path function, we're going to type in require once classes underscore path dot ds dot and we're going to be looking for auto loader dot php class class which we haven't created yet but we will in just a moment and we're going to use the new auto loader uh, function basically because the other one is going to be soon deprecated this uh, auto load which we've been using previously so let's updated to the latest version. So SPL function auto load register and we're registering our auto loader. Uh, and we're going to be using array because we're using um, a class with the method. First one is the class name, so auto loader. And second one, the method we want to call uh, in order to load the obviously relevant class load. And that's everything inside of our config.php. If we now save and close the file and move to the next video.